Novatech FX, are they having withdrawal problems? Is this the end of what could well be another Ponzi scheme? And now I did a video on this a few days ago and received a fair bit of abuse from people saying, no, no one's having any withdrawal problems. Well, I thought it'd be sensible to put together a video giving evidence from actual members who are reporting that there are withdrawal problems with Novatech FX. And that does indeed indicate that if it is a Ponzi scheme, which is my own firm belief that it is, um, then we could be in the closing stages now before the final collapse of Novatech FX. So let's run through the evidence. I'll also, um, at the end of this video, I'll give you an alternative if you um, are like a lot of people that watch my videos and say, well, okay, Paul, it's all very well you telling us the problems there. Have you got an alternative? Now, this is not the purpose of this video. This is not to pitch you something else but I do want to uh, already address those inevitable comments that I will get, which is, Paul, what else have you got? So do keep watching. If you're interested in something that's legitimate, fully regulated um, uh, and authorized and somewhere that's safe, in inverted commas, that you can put your money, but somewhere that you can still have that potential uh, to have some very substantial gains, then do keep watching through this video. But first of all, let's look at this evidence. Let's look at the comments from members who are stating there are delays from Novatex FX withdrawals. Um, they, there are two places you can withdraw from, the bonus account and the trading account. And essentially, people have spotted the problems with the trading account first of all, but there are also now problems with the bonus account for people withdrawal. Um, now, these are all comments that have occurred within the last seven days in a public Facebook group. So these are easy enough to find. Um, so you just have to open your eyes and hopefully this is going to help you uh, take action fast enough to be able to get your money out of Novatech FX before it collapses. Um, that's my own firm conviction. There's plenty of fraud warnings now. Uh, the writing is definitely on the wall. Novatech FX days are very limited. Now, first of all, we've got Michael Sensing said, still waiting on mine to well over 14 days. On the trading account in Novatech FX, the uh, back office says it should be between 7 to 14 days for withdrawals from trading account and from bonus accounts it should be 1 to 2 business days. Um, so what we're seeing here are people are quoting the business days. I've only taken the references where I know that they're talking about business days. And so Michael's saying they're still waiting on his well over 14 business days. Uh, Dorcas has said I'm still waiting mine since the beginning of December too. So this, this video has been recorded the 28th of December. So even with holiday times and, uh, and so on, this is still well over 14 business days that Dorcas has been waiting. Uh, Al Kanchevik said, still not received my withdrawal request since the beginning of December. This was just posted two days ago. And Tom Single said, my trading account withdrawal took 19 business days. Now, you have to ask the question, why is it taking so long? Now, I'll show you someone's comment in a little while where they gave their reason as to why they think it's longer than the 14 business days. And remember, it should be between 7 and 14. But here's Tom saying it took 19 business days, which when you're waiting in a month where there are holiday seasons as well, you're sat there for the best part of a month waiting, hoping for your money. And you'll see also people do say they start to use the word hope. It's starting to dawn on various members that actually, you know, why are these delays happening? We think they're running out of money. This could be a problem. Michael De Maria said, I'm on day 18. Uh, Andrew has said, has anyone received a cash payout from their trading account? I did a request on November the 28th and I have not received. This was six days ago. So that was the 22nd of December, well over 14 business days. Uh, Tom said, almost, I also made a withdrawal request for my trading account on November 28th, still says pending. Uh, same here. And Jamie Lynn, or Jimmy Lynn rather, says same as well. Uh, Stefan Alexandru Moray said, Annie Allen, what happened to the 24 to 48 hours? I've never waited this long before. Yeah, so bonus accounts are being affected as well. So it should be 24 to 48 hours, um, but people are reporting delays. Now, there'll be some people who won't be reporting delays because what tends to happen with a Ponzi scheme is that they will send out payments on selective basis and usually to the big leaders. In other words, the people who've recruited most and have the biggest social media presence, because if they can pay out those, 
then all their downlines think, ah, oh, can't be a problem. Look, Johnny's got his payments. He's received a huge amount of payout. He's, he's saying there's no problems. We've all got to trust and believe, trust and believe. And that's very much a mantra you will see within Novatech FX. It's very much based on faith. And uh, faith in what is a bit questionable because people are reporting delays. So Michael DeMaria, I'm in the same boat, requested pound the 28th of November, zero. Dorcas said, same here, very sad and no way to reach support. That's another warning sign there. There's no, people are reporting they cannot get support tickets in now. Um, Fred Weschelsberger said, I requested November 28th, still waiting. Think I'm, think I'm now on 17th business day. Uh, I've tried three times from trading accounts, still nothing. Retried after 20 business days. Daniel says, waiting for withdrawal since 28th of November, still pending. Zin Din, we are definite, sorry, there are definitely some delays from bonus and trading account withdrawals, mostly because some providence, provinces in Canada have been added to the restricted list and have been asked to vacate, as well as Pakistan and Singapore recently. So this is a, a member here who's trying to come up with, a, well, why, you know, trying to get an explanation. Well, why are we seeing delays? Rather than thinking, you know what, this could be a Ponzi scheme and it might be simply that they're running out of money, which is what happens with every single Ponzi scheme. They run out of new investor funds when there's no one else to defraud and uh, lie to to get them to part with their money. Then the earlier investors, there's no money to pay out to those earlier investors. It's already been paid out, it's already been stolen, gone. And so rather than coming up to that conclusion, uh, there's cognitive bias that members, when you've contributed money into a fund, you are going to come up with every excuse in your own head because you don't want to admit you've been scammed. You don't want to admit you've been duped, you've been defrauded, you've been a fool. No one wants to admit that. So you, your cognitive bias, come, you start to create your own arguments as to why you're justifying your own actions. And so what this person here is saying, well, perhaps it's because of the restricted. Now, like I said, there's been at least six fraud warnings now in various states uh, and various countries. That's starting to gather pace. Uh, and so that this person is thinking well perhaps it's because of those fraud warnings that people are withdrawing but that doesn't make any logical sense if Novatech is genuinely trading and making an average of three percent per week for the last three and a half years then their trading account shouldn't be affected by people withdrawing money that money should be there if they're trading and producing those returns there should be ample money so it doesn't make any sense because people are withdrawing money that's money the company says they've made. They should be able to withdraw that money. If they're not being able to withdraw that money, then that money obviously doesn't exist there. That's the biggest alarm bell. Um, Stefan says, I've been waiting since Monday, haven't received my bonus payment. Uh, Dani says, has anyone taken uh, from their main account? I did 1st of December and still waiting. This was just six hours ago. Uh, Dani Corey replied, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know what to tell you. I just hope you get it soon. It's based on hope. You shouldn't be putting money into a business where it's based on hope that you actually can withdraw your money. Uh, Kenneth says, hello family. This is another bit of a warning sign. It becomes very cozy. You know, people are giving this impression of being very supportive of each other, very much like a cult. Those involved in a cult don't realize they're involved in a cult, but they will support each other. It, meanwhile, the world is burning around them and they just do everything to say, Let, don't worry, let's huddle together, let's, let's keep the faith. Uh, good for you, I guess, since I withdrew my capital on the 2nd of this month, till date, it is still pending. So this is one day ago, 2nd of December, still pending on 27th of December. What a long time to wait for my withdrawals. Time to wake up, Kenneth. It's time to realise what's going on here. Uh, Sean says, Harry DL, yes, you're right, laugh out loud, 27 days. I requested November the 30th, so 19 business days. Delays, delays, delays. Obadiah said, I tried. I've been waiting for over 18 business days and no withdrawal. Uh, Natalie says, I withdrew on November the 30th. I'm still waiting. Don't expect it to come anytime soon. Now, what I didn't put in here, Natalie's comments, I also noticed that Natalie said that she was desperate to pay her rent, her weekly rent. And so she needs this money to come out. Again, never put money into a Ponzi scheme. Well, never put money into a scheme that you can't afford to lose is a very good saying, but never put money into a Ponzi scheme, full stop. 
because you are very likely to be in the 90 to 95 percent of net losers which is what happens mathematically with every single ponzi scheme uh, so i feel sorry for natalie but chris says in the same boat made a withdrawal on the 11th and still waiting let's see uh, Terence Round says 14 to 21 days, running a bit longer as of recent. This is really playing it down. Running a little bit longer as of recent, 14 to 21 days. It's supposed to be 7 to 14 days. There's only one logical reason why it's being delayed, and that's because they're running out of funds. Hopefully, my money will appear. Hopefully. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Ed says, I requested payout for my trade account on the 28th of November. Still haven't received it yet. That was five days ago. Uh, just received payment from my trade account. It took 19 days, that's 19 business days. Timmy said, I made my withdrawal on 29th of November, received it on Friday the 23rd of December, took 18 business days, almost a month, and of that, 18 business days. That's far more than the seven to 14. Stephen says, it seems that withdrawing from bonus account takes three business days now. It used to be one to two business days. So that's tripled if you look at if it's three business days it used to be one business day that's tripled the time it's taken uh, withdrawing from trading accounts should take 14 business days however today marks day 15 for me and i haven't got paid anyone else seeing this issue ps i've withdrawn lots of times before and never had an issue so it's not me making a mistake uh, and michael replied i'm on day 18. Uh, Tony, my biggest issue is the fact that their support centre is inaccessible for myself and apparently others. Not bashing them, but stating a situation that needs to be addressed. Well, actually, Tony, you should be bashing them. If support is down and the delays in payment, you need to bash them. Plus, you need to realise you've got involved in a scam. Um, Natalie also said, still waiting mine from November the 30th from trading account. Anyone else? This is 12 hours ago. And James Long said, same here. So. There's plenty, there are plenty of people reporting delays on both bonus accounts and in particular trading accounts. And you do have to ask that question. Why is that money not being paid out from trading accounts or why is it being delayed? It's because they need to receive further funds to be able to pay out those withdrawal requests. And as withdrawals speed up, which they will be, as people are starting to see delays, not just me and my videos, this is a public Facebook group, these comments. Um, as people start to see delays, more and more people start to realise, ah, you know what, this is a Ponzi scheme, it's starting to collapse, otherwise why would there be any delay if, if Novatech are making 3% per week that they're paying us, in other words they're making 4.3% on average per week, then where is that money? That, that's made up figures clearly and that's starting to occur on more and more people. Um, so yeah, so that's the end of the video for now, unless you want somewhere else that's legitimate and genuine place to uh, place some money. If so, then keep watching because I'm about to share with you something I've been doing now for almost eight years in terms of investing, private investing, uh, and let me delve into that for you. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen the really popular TV programs, Dragon's Den or Shark Tank, where you get some rich investors go and make investments in small companies that could go and become really big. In fact, that's where you make the most money. If you get involved in a tiny company right at the start, uh, even with a small investment, you can make a lot of money before they get to the stock market. So this is not about stock market investing. This is angel investing or venture capital investing. Now, normally that type of investing, you would need quarter of a million dollars, quarter of a million pounds to make that investment. Um, because that's what is required when you watch them on Shark Tank Dragon's Den. They will be investing £100,000, £200,000, that sort of thing. Now, this is available worldwide as well. Whilst I'm talking in pounds, this is available for anyone anywhere in the world to join VC Crowd. So what do VC Crowd do? Well, they're a crowdfunding uh, club, and you pay a monthly membership fee to join the club, and the club has some licensed and authorised investors um, that they are the advisors to the club as to which businesses the club should be investing in. So we don't need, as members of the club, we don't need to make any investment decisions. We simply uh, are given uh, a share of the profits, as it were. Uh, when the club makes its investments, it gives us uh, monthly allocations in businesses that they've invested in. So for instance, at the moment in the month of December, if you were to join today, you would get shares in Vism Technologies, which is actually on the stock market, and Tex, which is a, a smaller company, uh, still privately owned, and they do building facilities management, but they're growing really fast, about 30% growth year on year over the last 12 months. 
Um, so there's lots of uh, privately owned businesses here. And like I said, very much like Dragon's Den Shark Tank, you cannot get into these companies anywhere else. Um, so if you look at these other companies in the background, Simply Pay Me, Rockstar, uh, Skinny Drinks Group, which is now Happy Drinks Company, Life Safe Technologies, X Academy, you could not get into these companies, generally speaking, any other way than through either being a big private investor or through VC Crowd that makes those big investments in these young companies. Now, they don't just invest money. VC Crowd also um, give these companies help and advice. Uh, the advisors with VC Crowd have uh, got a long history of, of um, business experience themselves. They've floated companies on the stock market in the past and so on. So it's a really good community. If you look at the community section here, there are webinars. You can look at um, recordings of webinars as a member of the club. So we can see here there was a Vism Technologies Company update, uh, Rockstar Business update, Happy Drinks Company, uh, Portfolio Review and so on. Lots and lots of webinars. We actually get to hear from the um, founders and CEOs of these young businesses that the club has invested in. So you can feel really connected and understand what's going on. It's, it's almost like insider information because you're allowed to do that as because these are private companies. When they're on the stock market, you have to get all your information through the stock market and public um, venues. But when you've got a privately owned business, they can come here to the club and make announcements. They can give us inside information as to how well they're doing. And indeed, one of those companies that I'm a real fan of is Happy Drinks Company. Um, and I'll show you some data on that one in just a moment. Um, and that's going really well as well. Um, so there's webinars, you can attend those in the live events. It's a really good community. You don't need to know anything about investing. It's a great place to just set your monthly subscription to the club like you would with a gym club or a golf club, sports club. Pay your subscription every month and get shares allocated to your account every month um, in businesses the club has invested in. You get pretty much the same, uh, your monthly subscription, you get pretty much the same back in value in your portfolio. So have a quick look at my own portfolio. I'm logged into my own account here at the moment. Now I won't show you the actual quantity of shares or the value of my shares because obviously that's private information, but I can show you the, the growth, the estimated growth I've seen on these um, shares since I've been involved with the club. And since I had my shareholdings, which, like I said, starting, I, I joined in 2015 with the predecessor to VC Crowd. VC Crowd itself is about 18 months old now, um, but I was with the previous club and the shares got transferred over doing the basic same operation as VC Crowd. So been doing this now for getting on for eight years. Um, estimated growth, 772%, 103%, 867%. Uh, we've got one here which is a minus 100%. When you're investing in young startup and early stage companies, some of them will fail. But the point is, if you get one that goes and does 100x or 300x, it doesn't matter if all the rest were to fail, you're still going to be plenty happy with your profits, your returns that you're seeing. Uh, 233%, 1235%, 74%, 554% and so on. So some good gains there. Um, let me give you, like I said, a real example here. If we go to um, Happy Drinks Company, if, um, if we look at Happy Drinks, Happy Drinks are a drinks manufacturer based in Liverpool. They are seeing tremendous growth. The last um, year they had turnover of £4.4 .4 million. Next year they're predicted to have £23 million. The year after that predicted turnover is over £100 million. They're growing really fast. They've got contracts uh, to can drinks for Marks and Spencers, for Lidl, they're now in Costco, um, they're doing lots and lots of expansion. Really exciting company. And I first got involved with Happy Drinks when they were valued at about £5 million as a company. Let me quickly bring up a calculator and show you uh, what that means. Now, Happy Drinks is currently worth £50 million, so that would be a tenfold increase in the last few years if you got in at the start when they were at five million pounds uh, same as lots of members with VC Crowd but let's say they go on to be as big as one of the UK's um, popular stock market drinks companies called Fever Tree. Fever Tree is currently worth about 1.5 billion so if Happy Drinks gets to become 1.5 billion if you manage to get in when they were worth five million oops, hang on, that's one too many, five million, then the gain that you would see, so let's say you put a thousand pounds 
into Happy Drinks Company when they were a five million pound company, and let's say they go on to become a 1.5 billion, you would see a 300 fold gain. So if you put in a thousand pounds originally, you'd be looking at a 300,000 pounds return on that thousand pounds. If you managed to put in 10,000 pounds, you would have three million pounds from a 10,000 pound investment. That's the power of getting in early. This is the really exciting area where you can make life-changing amounts with relatively small investments. And you don't need to make those investments, you simply pay your membership fee to the club. Now, if you join the club, go as high a level as membership as you can, uh, because that will give you more shares and that will help build your portfolio quicker. There is also a trading section, so you can trade these companies' shares privately. So if you wanted to buy some more shares, so again, let's look at Happy Drinks. This secondary market is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So on the one hand, if you want to do what I'm doing, which is accumulating more shares, you can come in here and there are people selling their shares. Here, There's currently 1,271 available at 89 pence per share, 700 available at 90 pence per share, and so on. Uh, then you can acquire more shares there. Vice versa, if you wanted to sell early, if you weren't happy to wait the typical five to 10 years that you need to wait for a young business to become a big business, so for instance, on Facebook, if you got in right at the start, it took seven years before they got to the stock market. That's the sort of time frames you realistically need to be looking at. But if you're not happy to wait that long, or you have some unexpected bills, you can come into the trading section here and you could sell some of your shares. So for instance, there's someone willing to buy 900 shares at 59 pence. Another person willing to buy 1,250 at 58.1 pence. So you come in here and sell your shares uh, and convert that into cash and just withdraw that if you needed to. So it's a fun place, it's an exciting place, it's the, got the potential to make life-changing returns if you've got the patience for that, to get involved with real companies, um, with uh, proper authorized, regulated environment, uh, then VC Crowd is certainly a far more, I would say, a far more safer a more effective place to be than the pyramid schemes that people promote uh, where you've got to try and time it, you've got to get out before they collapse, you've got to try and get your money back uh, before that happens. That's the game that most people play with those Ponzi schemes. But in a Ponzi scheme, typically 90 to 95% of people who take part in those will lose money because they need an ever bigger supply of later investors. Whereas something like VC Crowd, yeah, there's an affiliate program here. It's not MLM, it's not a Ponzi scheme. If you do join, use my link in the description. That will get you a bonus as well. Uh, it's by invitation only to join the VC crowd. Um, so do use that link. Uh, there is a bonus from January as well, I think. If you keep your subscription going for four months or longer continuously, you'll get a 50% bonus in Vism shares, which are now stock market listed. That's a brilliant bonus to have. So certainly by you know within six months, you should be in a, a pretty good profitable position anyway. Uh, but keep your eyes on a five to 10 year view and you could make a life changing return through something like VC Crowd just by being a member. Um, so I hope you found that useful and interesting. If you've got any questions about that or about Novatech FX, do leave those in the comments. Again, I'll remind you, this was not a pitch for VC Crowd. I'm simply addressing uh, for those people who say, well, okay, Paul, what have you got if Novatech FX is a Ponzi scheme? I, I'm fed up with Ponzi schemes. I want something that's legitimate and genuine then VC Crowd gets you my biggest thumbs up. Like I said, I've been with them for uh, be eight years uh, by the summer, this uh, coming summer. Um, so totally solid, really good place to be, good community. You've got the webinars, you can check out all these companies, you can check out the shareholdings, um, really legitimate. So I wish you all the best. Link in the description if you want to join VC Crowd and I'll see you on the next video. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and do pass any comments and questions you have.